Wasabi, this right here is Snow Speeder Luke Skywalker and it is my first soft goods version of one of these figures and I'm really excited to give you one of my typical unboxings. <laughs> which will be an in-depth unboxing as usual as I don't feel like I can give a review because it's not right to take a figure out the box and review it right off the bat when you don't really know anything about that. Figure. I'm really excited to get this open for you guys, mainly for myself, but yeah, I know it's old. The issue with that is most figures are sold out, especially if I was looking for a Deadpool or a Wolverine. Um, Sideshow doesn't really ever have a good enough stock for what and I'm I not want. really trying to pay the exuberant prices for that are above retail so I usually go to my local comic store and pick from whatever is available the mission at that point was an Ahsoka or a Luke I came back with Luke and I'm happy <laughs> If you were asking me if a figure like this fit in frame, the answer is no. I should have got a bigger light box. Well, today didn't go exactly how I planned, so time to distract myself and unbox a figure that I've been sitting on for about a month now. Because it takes me forever to do things that I should do earlier. Um, I don't know how I'm going to go about the logistics of looking at this thing. It's not going to be an easy task. So why don't we start with the accessories and make our way back to the figure. I did not expect the instructions for this to be so detailed and intricate. I mean, for my Iron Man, honestly, I actually don't remember what the instructions for my Iron Man looked like, but like, this is insane. I mean, it shows you how to put the helmet on, it shows you how to take the hair off, it shows you how to take the helmet apart, it shows you how to add the extra features to the hand, it shows you how to put on the lightsaber, what is this, for the lightsaber hand, or, yeah, like, what? This is insane i'm gonna have to look at every little detail when i go over start this. out with this guy we have the the lightsaber hand and as in lightsaber hand this is the obviously the led lightsaber that's so cool wow like look at the detail on something like the glove like it has weathering effect the paint app is like wow see this is my first hot toys that's not like an iron man i mean this is granted this is also my only my second hot toys but like i've never got a soft goods version of one of their figures so this is going to be a really interesting experience for me just because obviously i do really enjoy hot toys it's one of my favorite brands i'm just it's a very pricey um hobby to be figured to collect so that's why i've been mainly going for like mezco i believe this is for the the sticky like the sticky launcher that he attached himself to the ad at with i'm assuming that's what this is i i don't know what else it would be for i, I think i'm right I, th I think that's it okay wow look at the weathering detail on that hand Oh yeah, okay. Wow. So they're like grasping hands. That peg hole is tiny. And then you're given options of two of the grasping hands without the glove. I think that's a great addition. Like, look at the detail on the skin. What? That flesh color is crazy. I'm assuming like an open, maybe like a force. That's not really a force hand. But it's still dope nonetheless. Wish the nails were different colored so you could see that it's not all finger, but hey, the detail there is still good. Wow. Is this like a trigger finger? It looks like a trigger finger. But wow, look at the detail on that skin. Man, Hot Toys, you are, this is a great brand. Wow. That is magnificent. Look at the detail on this helmet. 
I'm not going to try taking it apart yet because I don't want to break it. I know that's a feature. I've seen videos. They even explain it in the instructions. I'd rather be safe than sorry with a figure like this, though. Got to be a little bit more careful with my higher-end figures than I have been as of recent. Wow. Like, this is plastic, but it looks like, like leather. Like, you would think this is leather, it's not. But, like, wow, it just has, like, that old, like, looks like an old football player helmet from, like, the 1940s. Or, like, I mean, obviously, I know it's not. But, you know what I mean? Like, it just gives off that, like, skin, like, high vibe. And just, this is nice. You get your dreaded super small LED lights. I'm not taking them out because I don't even know if I'm going to put them in. I mean, I'm sure I will, but for now, they're going to go to the side because I'm not losing. I think these are extra joints for the wrist, maybe for the extra hands that you're given. Uh, maybe they just want you to have extra. I don't, I don't know why they include these. I'm going to have to read the instructions. I don't want to start doing things with stuff until I've read. What is that? There's like little black beads in there. Was that like supposed to be attached to the ends of these and they fell off? Like, I, I don't know. Either way, I'm not going to do anything with this until I know what it's for. I think this is the mouth guard for the helmet. Again, I love the detail on the right here. It just gives off this real like glossy plastic. Uh, I, I guess this would have been a plastic or I don't know what kind of material they would use for these helmets. But like, I just like the way it looks. The strap looks good too. I mean, yeah. Nice. And this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. Wow, look at the detail on like the the gray, like the gunmetal gray they use for this blaster. Even down to the handle, the brownish like burgundy look it has. Like this is nice. I haven't had a weapon in this scale before. It's it's cool. I love hot toys. Like I love the little attention to detail they pay for everything. Like, yes, these figures are pricey, and yes, sometimes you feel like you're breaking the bank, but you do get so much bang for your buck. Like, the fact that this can do something like this, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I'm never going to use this as a set piece. Like, I'm never going to have Luke trying to use this to grapple onto something, but the ability to have it and to pose with it is a nice feature. I won't lie. Like, the amount of effort and work they put into this to, like have this actually as a working like you know not like it would actually keep him up in balance but like it works as in like it gives off the idea that this could actually be used for what it's meant for and like the attention to detail here i mean i do have some smudging on the paint right here the it looks like some of the yellow they didn't finish but i mean i could fix that myself with like a gundam marker but it's unless it's meant to be like that i've never looked close enough like, yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan, but, like, I'm not the... I'm not going to be looking at that close of a detail on a weapon that was in, like, two minutes or a minute of a, of a, of a movie. So, don't shoot me for not knowing if that's supposed to be yellow finished or not. Either way, I like it. This is, like, one of the piece de resistance in the box to me. And I've always really enjoyed Star Wars figures that come with these, like fanning slash effect lightsaber effects i think they look so good especially in photos when they're posed up but like i like i just i wish hasbro included these more in their in their lightning i'm not lightning Sheesh, sorry I, i'm a fan of so many different things i get them mixed up of their black series figures because i think that like they do include them in some these are something that every jedi or sith needs like, look at that. It looks so good. This is what goes in the, uh, I think you can replace the blade in this. Yeah. So this is the normal lightsaber hilt. This is not the, I don't believe this is the LED one because obviously you can, you're going to have to take the blade from this and put it into the LED one because for some reason they don't include, you know, multiple blades, but whatever. It's fine. You get this fanning one, which is still cool. Like I would definitely use the fanning blade in a swinging motion i like the nice blue that they give you it's an it's 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 good get the iconic luke slash anakin legacy lightsaber what i noticed when i took the stand out the box is you're getting this really nice luke skywalker typical hot toys display uh base 
and I don't know how it works. I don't know if these come off or not, or you just place them over, but you can put different uh, scenery things. So this looks like Endor. You can just place that right here. It's really, it's holographic too. Or maybe that's just the way the light's reflecting. It is holographic, but you can put that down or you can go with the simple Hoth one like this. And then you add the little snow piece to the side so it looks like it's on like Hoth, obviously. You'll look something like that. You'll add in this. And then boom, you've got to stand for your Luke Skywalker. Oh my God, this jacket, it's like a real jacket. Oh my Jesus. Hot Toys, stop. Uh, I mean, I know you guys use real material, but this literally feels like a bomber jacket that like you or me or any regular day person would wear. Oh. Okay. Right away, I wanna pay attention to the detail. Out the box, the first thing I noticed touching this thing was how real the leather on that jacket felt. Like it literally feels like a puff, like I said, like a puff jacket that you would have worn at any point in your life. Like it, it, it even had like the bounce to it. Like there was like a, like some puffy fluffness. Like, wow. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not coming up with words. Like everything from the attention to detail to the weathering on the shoulders of it looks realistic and real. I mean, like you've got the, the the moccasin type boots like like everything is so nice like this wiring that runs tubing that runs down from his chest you've got the little satchel here for the gun and the like this i was not expecting to be blown away like i mean sure i was it's hot toys i, I should have always expected the figure to be something of this level and caliber but i don't think i was prepared because my first foray in the hot toys was an iron man I got a, the, uh, I don't remember which one I have at this I point. have so many figures. Either way, since I have so many figures, I don't really, like, pay attention anymore to what it is and what it is not. But I don't know if I consider, like, yeah, it was my first attempt at, like, seeing, oh, so this is what, like, uh, hot toys are like when they're not uh, die cast and plastic. This is a Hot Toys like soft goods figure. And I've had the Amezco soft goods, but I've never had a soft goods in this scale. Now that I do, I like, wow, like honestly, this figure is just so good. But like, man, like, I'm not gonna do articulation or anything like that, but I just wanna get a feel for this figure and let you kind of see the range of some sort of motion he has. Wow, like, it's so. Like this is a this is a nice figure. Like look at that detail. Like it literally looks like Luke Skywalker in it in Empire Strikes Back. Like the, the head sculpt. Let's get a better look at the head sculpt, why don't we? Like look at that. That literally looks like Mark Hamill. Like obviously, but still like that that's crazy. The level of detail that they put into this Luke Skywalker. I mean, granted, I'll be honest with you, this was not the look I wanted, but at the time, I really wasn't trying to spend over a certain amount of pricing for Hot Toys, because I didn't really need one, but I just felt like I wanted another for my collection. So I went for to my local hobby shop, and it was between this and the Ahsoka Tana. They didn't have it, so I was okay with this. Now, in reality, the figure I want that's like my holy grail is that Artisan Anakin Skywalker. Oh my god. Mm. Yo, 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 y'all forgot about me, didn't you? I couldn't help myself. This man was over here saying the susness on some ditty shit. He talking about take that, take that, take that. Thought I told you that we won't stop ass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, that that's that's my, I want that. There's a few, like, I don't really, I'm not a fan of like the, 
what are the Iron Men? The the later Endgame, Infinity War, Iron Man suits. I like before nanotech Iron Man suits, early MCU Iron Man suits. So I'm not gonna ever get like a Mark 85 or anything like that. They look cool, sure, but that's not my kind of thing. I'm not paying 600 for a figure. Now this. I do want a Darth Vader, but the problem with that is they're hard to find, and the second I see them pop up anywhere, they're usually sold out instantly. So with, with Hot Toys, I'm taking the approach of I get what's available from the medians that I enjoy. So like with Mezco, I can be a little bit more selective and picky with what figures I'm going for, opposed to this, where I kind of have to just go by what's available in stock when trustable websites or trustable uh like i went to a co local comic store that also sells like old school figures So I'll be honest, I almost gave up um, replacing the arm. It was a dilemma I faced. So the jacket is the jacket is really tight, and I didn't realize that the inner sleeve for the jacket got pushed inside. So when I took off the normal hand, I was like, "Oh, that's a tight, um, snug fit." And I went to put the other arm in, it just wouldn't fit no matter what I did. It would never get a snug connection and it would fall right out. I spent about 30 minutes trying to figure this out. Just to find out the whole time I had the inner sleeve stuck in. I pulled that down with a screwdriver, put the arm back in, it snapped in right away. So uh, yeah, uh, I was very frustrated with that. But nonetheless, the LED feature looks good, but like it's not something I'm going to see myself using a lot. I do see the batteries in it dying fairly quickly just from accidentally pushing it like they've placed the button in a really inconvenient spot I feel like it would have been better suited on the lightsaber itself 
but since it's on the inside of the wrist you can like accidentally tap too hard there and it just turns on and you don't even realize because sometimes in certain lights it's very light compared to like you know you won't notice it compared to everything else around it sometimes so I don't know but I'm not disappointed it's a nice feature to have I do wish it was wired because I just feel like these LED batteries once they do die it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to find replacements again I have them all over my Iron Man but he's been in the display case since I got him I don't really see myself taking this out a lot and I I, like, I don't pose my figures enough to use their LED features is basically what I'm All saying. Alright guys, I just wanted to take the time to say thank you for watching this unboxing. You know my style. I always like to do an unboxing first before I do a review. Um, I know this figure is old, but I don't collect based off what's new. I collect based off what I like and what I enjoy. And I feel like that's how everyone should collect. Anyway, if you like this video, like, share, Subscribe, help me grow. I really appreciate it. Peace out. Reviewing, I mean, unboxing this Luke Skywalker. He's like a sky stalker. Ooh, like a night walker. Ooh. Walker, Texas Ranger, you in danger. Ooh, you a stranger. Ooh, Hermione Granger. Ooh. Avada Kedavra. Abracadabra, spatagabat. All right, I can't wrap. Peace out.